Hi, I'm Nick Barnhart. And I'm Tommy Marino. Welcome to the Pareto Lab Studio here in downtown LA. We're here to teach you how to read financial statements. Our mission at Pareto Labs is to help you elevate your game at work, and understanding the language of business is going to give you a big advantage. We save you time by distilling this subject into core concepts that you can easily learn and immediately put to practice at work. And while you'll be learning some accounting terms and concepts, this is not an accounting course. Why is this class important? First of all, it's a blast. And when you finish this course, you're going to have the skills to understand any business just by looking at financial reports. How cool is that? Secondly, finance, as my old mentor would say, is the plumbing of business and knowing it will help you make better decisions at work and better understand the decisions that the CEO makes. It'll also help you understand how your job directly impacts the financial performance of the company. You'll be amazed at how much you can do with a few core principles and some grade school math. You don't have to have an MBA. You don't have to have studied finance. From small business owners on Main Street to bankers on Wall Street, they all speak the same language. A financial statement is like a book. You read from the top line to the bottom and it tells you the health and vitality of the business. It's remarkable how much you can pick up just by sitting down and you know, pick a company that interests you and go top to bottom and just sort of understand what makes that company tick. If you even think you've got a glimmer of interest in this stuff, you can pick it up pretty quickly. A financial statement can be a very tricky book because if you don't look very closely, um, oftentimes there will be little hidden nuggets, little Easter eggs, little clues that make us CFOs super excited. We're stressed. <laughs> so, what are we going to cover? There are three financial statements that every company uses. The income statement, the balance sheet, and the cash flow statement. The income statement shows the amount of sales, expenses, and profit flown through a business measured over a period of time. That period could be a month, a quarter, maybe even a year. You've kept your fixed operating expenses flat versus the prior year. You have a low variable cost business, and boom, profit, baby. The balance sheet shows the amount of money tied up in a business at a certain point in time. It answers the following questions. Where did the money for this business come from? And how is that money currently being used? One thing I can say is that anybody can learn this stuff. It's, it's super useful and pretty important if you want to be involved in helping make managerial decisions or even understanding managerial decisions. Finally, our favorite of them all, the cash flow statement. And that summarizes how cash was either generated or used up over a period of time. And it might seem intimidating, but here's why you don't have to worry. Every company uses these same three statements. And while some companies may add a little more detail or a little less detail, or use different words here and there, the structure is always the same. In this course, you'll master this structure as we go line by line through the Apple 2018 financial statements. And by the end of this course, you'll have the framework to read and understand the financial reports of any company. The sooner you can master these core concepts, the more successful you'll be in your job, and the more successful you'll be in making strategic, insightful business decisions. So what do you say? Let's get started.